Aw, I was hoping this would be an execution. Oh, it's a Borg. Thank you, Storyteller! Thank you for granting me this Yeah, someone's gonna die. We always have someone mother. dying in this. She was in it bed, but now she's as fit as a fiddle. People of Labyrinthia. Hello. Behold your new story. Hi. You look interesting. Is this Darklaw? Wow, that was amazing, wasn't it, Professor? Yeah, amazingly, nobody was executed. Indeed. But something would appear to be amiss. <laughs> well, I'm gay, so what do you expect from me? Well, people seem to be upset about the story, so it must have a real plot hole, right? That's what's going to happen. It's not written in English. This doesn't look like a typical letter. It's a story, Luke. Get get your facts straight there, bud. This does... Okay, well, okay, finally. The fearsome witch moved deeper into the moonlit wood, casting a deathly shadow as she passed beneath, between the trees. And when the two young companions stepped into the darkness of the wood, they were drawn into her magic fire, and their lives were consumed in its flames. <clears throat> That's it? That's the whole story? This is lousy. I was hoping for more of a story. No wonder everyone hates it. It's only like a couple of sentences. I get the impression that nobody here has free will. Tug it. I don't like his name. That seems rather unnerving. Thank you. Well, we're about to get a death. I'm so glad we're finally back on brand here. God, having to defend, like, assault and 
burglary or theft or whatever it was that um, she was charged with earlier. That was boring. Now we finally get to deal with murder. Of some sort, I guess. Uh-oh. I don't want blood, I'm just... I want... consistency. Oh dear. So, um, hey, Luke and Layton, I think you're about to be labeled as heretics. Hmm. You're, they're, they're, you're, they're being accused of heresy. Ah, uh, maybe these two are going to get executed and we're just going to have something else going on here. We could, can we do a puzzle to get out of this? We weren't even causing trouble earlier, what the hell? We solved your frickin' puzzle. this going? Well, everyone looks anime, and you two do not, so... Yeah, I'm about to say that this is going somewhere very Ace Attorney-like, isn't it? a map? We just solved the map earlier. You, you two have a map. Don't we solve the map? Okay. We're about to be rescued, I guess. Yeah, speaking is a free action. Yeah, let's run in the city that we're completely unfamiliar with. Blast these heavy armor, we cannot chase after them. Oh my god. Why aren't you joining them, you jerk? I don't know where I was going with this. How did you lose them in such a small city? Or town? I guess town? It's not a village. Is it a city? I guess it's a city. Oh boy. Yep, they really did hide. Also, these crates are rather interesting looking. Espella, however. I like her aesthetic. Crates make you invisible? Yeah, just kind of like flip one upside down and go inside of it and then just walk and then when all of a sudden you hear the uh, little alert sound, you stop. And then you just wait until everything calms down then you keep doing it until you don't hear the alert sounds anymore. 
That's how you do it. That's how you use a crate. Oh, there's more to this town. Hey, Kira. Are we dealing with parallel Aspellas? Like, this is where I think things are going. She's very pretty. No, we were thrusted into the goddamn book out of... Well, not of our own free will. Luke, no, that's not what happened. Thank you, Leighton, for, for speaking the truth. Luke is like, oh yeah, we came here for the puzzles, and Leighton's like, shut up for a moment, let me speak. No, we don't know why we're here. It's like, you don't have to do this ruse anymore there, Luke. Miss Eclair. That is amazing. Or Ms. Eclair. Which means there's a Mr. Eclair, isn't there? So where are we going now? Okay, so apparently we lost something, but sure. Go to the bakery. I guess we gotta move over there. Was the bakery here? No, the bakery wasn't here. Maybe I should pay attention to the little icons on the map, hey? Okay, we- oh my god. Okay. Ah, yes, the bakery map. Oven like that. 
Welcome. Wait, what? Wait, excuse me? Our bakery uses only the finest ingredients. I progress goods for not much dough. What? Anyway, all right, sure. Talented and highly enthusiastic, it seems. He's kneading the dough pretty hard, isn't he? Well, he's had practice with Edgeworth. I would rather like an emotion to pounding myself. All right. I'm sorry. What? I am... I'm just really fucking confused here. Like, why is it not a ramen shop, for one thing? But also... Alright. Hello, Maya. Um, where's Aunt Patty? The boss? She's gone to the market. She should be back at any time now. Okay. Sorry about Nick here. He didn't realize you weren't customers. Not at all. There's nothing wrong with such sincere dedication to one's job. Mr. Wright, Maya, meet my friends, Mr. Layton and Luke. Professor Layton, but all Pleasure. right. My name is Herschel Layton. And I'm Luke Triton. Nice to meet you. I love how anime Fanny. these two are. And this is Nick, my assistant baker. Ah, good. I'm glad that this is the way things are working out. Phoenix Wright, pleased to meet you. How come I'm the assistant? Phoenix, know your place. I... Five years, you say? Hey! Maybe this is actually what happened to Phoenix's, um, like, attorney badge. Oh, is he still wearing his attorney badge? Let me see. I don't see his attorney badge, but he's still wearing his suit. bread spent five years in a dimensional void working at a bakery to you it was 30 minutes to me it was five years so who's to say who's uh, more experienced no no I bet you anything it's a five-year gap for everyone else for these Take two? That. Wow, okay. Hey, Phoenix still wears his attorney badge. Five years and Nick has yet to speak in a labyrinthian 
way? I don't know. Like, come the this is this is baffling. This is completely baffling. I have so many freaking questions at the moment. Like, has Maya why is Maya working in a bakery and not running a burger or ramen joint? I am disappointed in the two of them for not doing either one of those. And poor fucking Pearl! Oh my god, Pearl, sweetie, you've been abandoned! Oh my god, Pearl. I don't want to think about Pearl in this situation. She's been abandoned for five years. Just think about Pearl. She's been abandoned by these two. And the pal- oh my god, the office plant! The plant- the, the plant's not getting watered? And then Edgeworth doesn't have his boyfriend anymore. All right, let's let's talk to her. Is she gonna give us a fucking puzzle? <laughs> Maya, maybe maybe phrasing, phrasing Maya, phrasing. about to get a puzzle, aren't we? A baking puzzle, fuck yes. Alright, puzzle number 13. Use your loaf. Alright, it's worth 40. The neatly placed loaves of bread on display at the front of the bakery were thrown into disarray. In the process, it seems an extra loaf managed to find its way amongst the bunch. Take a look at the picture on the top screen to find the extra loaf of bread and place it into the basket where you found it. Some of them are double-sided. I'm kind of trying guessing at what the puzzle wants me to do. Oh, I don't know if it's that one. Hey, Chaos. Well, that wasn't it, I guess.
Okay. What do you think of this? What the hell does it want? I had it. <laughs> it wants me to remove the extra loaf. But, well then, is it just one of these? Like, I, I don't know what else it would be. What you think of this. Wow, okay. I did it! Whatever. <laughs> That's a really weird puzzle, because like... That's a bizarre puzzle. I'm doing my best. Um, I just had a really weird puzzle that made... Basically, you had three different answers, so you shouldn't fail at it, I guess. Patty Cakes, is that her nickname, by the way? The notches had something to- oh, I, I guess I overlooked that. Oh well, that's okay. Conveniently, there's an empty room. She had that bread in her pocket, right? That's usually where the bread goes. An extra special technique to make it fluffy. They're about to have be lobotomized. Oh, hey. 
Oh, oh boy. I think I think I figured out something here. I think I figured out something here. Oh boy. Well, this is going to be entertaining, ain't it? Uh, hey, web captioner, settle down there a little bit. It's complicated. <gasps> Kitty. <gasps> the kitty's name is Eve? Eve is your familiar, right? I just like how we stole money from Aspella just now. She doesn't remember the man that, I guess, rescued her? Yeah, I don't remember the man that had a car accident <clears throat> with the um, <clears throat> car that ended up launching itself into a tree and stayed there. And nobody had whiplash, you know. Okay, so <clears throat> it's not a choice, it's just whatever the progress is. She's having some traumatic memories come back to light. How did he get inside the book? Is this basically Tron? Like, is this just story book Tron? Like, so far this is starting to make me believe that this is a storybook Tron. And that... Oh god, this is... There is so much going on here, and I want to know more.
Yeah, let's go ask the random town folk that just called us heretics if they know anyone here. I think it's... Well, I think Isekai is... Well, Isekai was definitely a giveaway with the book from um, earlier on. But... It's extremely weird, and I want to know more about this, uh, this, this situation. Like, I read this as storybook Tron. They were hit by, they weren't hit by Tron, Jesus. The whole concept of Labyrinthia is a mystery, so... I'm sorry, you should suspect that this town has secrets. Why is it that whatever is written in, by the storyteller in the Historia Labyrinthia always become fact? Well, the thing is, is that, and I hate to say this, but there's no culture either. Anyway, I'm going to take my pot shots at the United Kingdom whenever I get the chance. the town held a mysterious secret. It was run by a computer AI. did the witches so we call them townsfolk but is it a town or a city I'm enjoying this because I like to hyper-analyze everything. <clears throat> yeah, I appreciate that. I don't- I want no spoilers in this. This is very alien for me. Hi, sweetie. What's up, stinky? the woman on the right. I'm pretty certain she's bad, but I really would like to know more about her. <laughs> you 
Yeah, no, I want no backseating. Um, that's, uh, definitely don't want that. I'm enjoying this, by the way. I am definitely... Definitely intrigued by whatever this situation is and how much Phoenix and Maya themselves are aware of things. Like, I don't think... I think they know what's up. And they may be playing dumb for the moment. Hi. What you doing? You never want to sit in my lap, but you always want to be like around my feet. Yeah, you. She's just like headbutting into my legs. We're just going to wander into the great archive, aren't we? you a liability? See, Leighton knows what's up. I'm asking those questions and he's asking them for me. Thanks, Luke. I'd rather you didn't. Don't ask him for help. He's just gonna throw us off. I get the impression that Luke is really useless, but you enjoy him because he has that endearing desire to be better than what he was yesterday, even though his progress is pretty stunted. shows its butthole. He's just a kid? I know he's just a kid. I'm gonna make fun of him a little bit. He nearly got our heads cut off earlier. I'm a little bit mad at him. Going up to him like, are you really knights? Wow, that's that's definitely gonna fly uh, quite well with you know what are basically the medieval equivalent of the police. milk bucket. It's unpasteurized, though. <clears throat> unpasteurized medieval milk. 
Oh, I would not want to have this milk. Would any of you want to have this milk? Because I most certainly do not. I think Leighton should introduce pasteurization to this place. It become Leightonization? I don't know what they would call it, because Pasteur was actually the uh, inventor of pasteurization. Um, milk bread is a real thing. Um, I don't know how common milk bread was until these days. Um, I personally like milk bread. Um, Back to the scene of the crime. I'm pretty certain we're going to run into somebody who knows us from before. Yeah, this person here. I'm going to, I want to try something here. keep the population in control. Stop pulling your beard like that there, bud. This, this surely cannot be good for that beard. Did, did you just break your monocle? Oh yeah, oh no, his pair- wow. This man must have a lot of money if he can just tear his glasses apart. And then just toss it aside. I guess, like, trash cans. I'm afraid it's incurable? Yeah, that's fair. Oh my god, please stop breaking your glasses. How much money do you have? <laughs> I can't highlight that. Oh, I made that girl's day really ugly all of a sudden. Are we about to get a cutscene here?
So is this story all about death of the author? Because I'm starting to wonder about that. I don't know if Auth has actually played this game or not. Um, he made a comment about it um, when I was streaming Monkey Island a couple days ago. Um, I think he might have played this game, but I, I cannot confirm. Yeah, uh, entire village is catching on fire in these... <clears throat> whatever period this is, would not be unheard of. So we're being stalked. go oh hey why does she speak like this houses are still remarkably flam um, flammable to these days Your couch would catch on fire real quickly if you gave it the chance. Why does she speak like this? I'm trying to like, like, it's, she has some sort of speech impediment, but, or at least I'm assuming it's a speech impediment, or are they going for some sort of bizarre accent? No language, I... I'm sorry, what? Navigate Luke through the clouds and help him find the professor. Jumping into holes in the clouds will drop Luke down the level below. Likewise, jumping onto the fluffy clouds will send him flying to the level above. Okay, I'm going to flip this over to the other side here. Um, so... Can I just use the D-pad? Okay, so I need to know what these ones go to. Well, that's what I'm. I, I, that's where I know her name from. But like, I don't know if she ever spoke like that. Did she?
Okay, so that puts me there. Where does this take me? I won't hold that against you. <laughs> um, well, like, it's like French nursery rhymes make absolutely no fucking sense to me anyway, so... Yeah, like, I imagine for somebody who's not a native English speaker, or rather, they, it's not their first language, um, nursery rhymes are absolutely baffling, because they're baffling to, you know, somebody who grew up speaking English, right? Um, so, and for me, like, I'll be like, what is this getting at? Like, a lot of nursery rhymes are, like, tied towards, like, really horrendous events that happen in human history. Um, but they're so cryptic that you could sing them all joyfully and think nothing of them, but then it's only horrifying when you finally understand what, what the kids are singing about, and you're like, what the hell? Like, ring around the posy, pocket full of posy, hasha, hasha, we all fall down. Like, from what I understand, that's a reference to, um, the Black Plague. <laughs> place is interesting. Yeah, I don't know how how likely it is uh, to be a um, poem about the Black Plague, but there's, yeah, there's arguments for and against it. Okay. Oh, Dewey. Oh my god. First of all, the Dewey Decimal System sucks. Um, it is highly colonialist, racist, and all sorts of nonsense. But I do appreciate that they gave this person the name Dewey. The Dewey Decimal System is highly geared towards um, Anglo-European um, categorization and it doesn't really take into account other cultures uh, and languages very well um, and as a result um, it is a inferior way of sorting um, your reference materials oh, no, I appreciate the name I think that's actually clever Yeah, there's other ways to sort books these days. Um, my ex-partner is a librarian, and um, you know, she was t uh, teaching me about this ages ago. And um, yeah, the Dewey Decimal System is just absolute trash. Mind you, categorization of material is an extremely complicated topic. Like, 
I suffer with it, and I don't even do library sciences. I just do um, data sorting as a, for cybersecurity, and let me tell you, that's a nightmare in itself. Dewey seems like he's in for a ride, isn't he? Like, he knows he's about to. The Grand Grimoire. What is... Who are you? Hello. That aesthetic? Yep. That's a good aesthetic right there. Bella Cantabella. By learned persons of significant status. She's basically our Sailor Saturn, isn't she? She plays. She has the hair already. Riddell Mister. Mister? Riddell Mister. Interesting name. I like her name. <laughs> but I am a professor. Yeah, you gotta go and do your, um, what, what, was, what, what would we call this? Um, okay, so the Americans have... I'm just trying to think, like, what would be an academic way to go about this, but I'm, I'm not coming up with a good joke here. Do the accent grave. No, they wouldn't have done the accent grave. Make your way through the maze of strange clocks and to the goal. You can only move in the- okay, I don't need to use this, so we can do it this way. Um, you can only move in the direction of the clock hands, which each step you take, the clock hands will rotate 90 degrees, so take care.
There you go. Let's see if I've proven myself. You should expect no less from a gentleman. So, hey, I passed my... the equivalent of a SAT or a doctorate or something in this world, so... Congratulations. <clears throat> cool. I would basically be the fucking smartest person in the entire whatever this is if I could pull that puzzle off. Okay, cool. Got it. Congratulations to me. Certified Interdimensional Supreme Solver Puzzles. Yeah, there we go. I don't have my cyst, by the way, despite working in cybersecurity. I gotta do another bloody puzzle with you? R eyes rolling? Alright, let's find out. Trust me, I lost mine ages ago. Alright, what are we doing this time? Alright, if you do this again, you can only move in the direction, okay. However, note that the clock hands on the purple clocks appear to rotate at three times the speed of regular clocks. All right. Wow, you're you're rude. Oh, is that a free space? to show you my puzzle solving skills you should expect no less from a gentleman that was that was actually kind of fun the, the, i will say that these puzzles are rather entertaining even if they're a little weird once i knew that i had free spots it actually made it a little bit easier for me to figure out what to do
I really would like to know if I can get a doctorate in puzzle solving because um, if I'm queen shit here, then I definitely should be running the show. Alright, well, what do I- what happens when I- actually, I'm gonna save this here real quick. Let me just quickly save this. 